Alright, usually I don't want to shove my nose into other people's business, but I just saw a video by Big Al. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say oh. usually I don't want to do that? I meant every time. Every time I want to do that. I live for doing that. God. I know how much hate I'm going to get for this, and I know how much hatred and skull... Please pay attention to me. To get please, internet, please pay attention to me. Subscribe, comment, rate! Crap, but today I'm going to be defending tubers for a few you know, measly moments. And as you notice, I'm not screaming at the top of my lungs going criminally insane because I want to prove a point that I can actually do a commentary or a response or another video without screaming to the top of my lungs and pretty much destroying the fuck out of them. Translation. Now, you did make... <laughs> Translation, the medication kicked in. Some good points, I will have to admit. The screaming is sort of obnoxious and idiotic, and uh, he sort of overblown the hypocrite part a little bit too seriously at some points. You didn't really mention that part. But all in all, the, the video had a few flaws over the successes. So here's what I'm going to point out. <laughs> Please allow me to spend the next nine minutes explaining why you're fucking retarded. And I spent ten seconds telling you what good points you had. Clearly, you can see video, this video is not going to be biased. To the extent of why do you guys attack random DC. In fact, I do remember this quote. You you stated something to the effect of it It seems like you guys are saying like uh, random DC fucked your dog in the ass so as a revenge you're just making all these hatred videos against him. He didn't do anything personal to you guys. Why are you attacking him? Well, I would agree with that point if it wasn't for one thing. What did I deserve to get hatred? What did Tuber deserve to get hatred? What did Ch Chris Chan do to deserve hatred? I can understand that freaking Azap kid, but what did these recolor artists do to get uh, like get all this hatred and flaming and spamming? They didn't do anything personal. They didn't like fuck your dog in the ass or kill your mother or like shoot your father in the face. No, they they just made a video that was against your opinion and you flamed the fuck out of them. And you're saying that it's not right to attack one of your friends, but it's perfectly fine to attack a low-rate uh, ranner like myself. Understandable that back then I sort of did deserve it for being somewhat of a idiot. But oh, as did, a did, whole, did, did, I... did anybody hear that? Because I think the point just flew right by his head and he completely missed. Yeah, yeah, stop attacking me. I'm just a little guy. It couldn't be that maybe I'm fucking retarded and my point is invalid and that's why I deserve to be attacked. No, it's because you guys keep picking on me. I didn't do anything personal to you guys. I just spoke my opinion, spoke my rights, spoke my freedoms, and you guys stated that I'm a complete and utter twat, an idiot, a moron, and a stupido, and I deserve to die. It's yeah, guys, not... I mean, just because I said that DCE's girlfriend should get raped and lit on fire doesn't mean you gotta be mean to me. It was just my fucking opinion. Necessarily that good, you know? I didn't do anything personal to you, so why is it instantly personal if we commentate or talk about big uh, random DC? Another point yeah, like point that out time that I said Big Al should get put in a concentration camp. That was my fucking opinion. Why do you guys got to keep picking on me? I'm just a little guy. By the way, please subscribe. I need attention. That I'm really sick and tired of, which is another thing. It's like stop going all attacking defensive when you talk about the demanding people. <sighs> to that I say, show me proof. Show me fucking proof. I want proof. I want evidence. Okay? that That's friggin' demanding, by the way. Because what you guys are pretty much saying is that all oh, these people are demanding these videos. They're not requesting them. They're shoving it in our face. We should do rants. We sh you guys need to do more reviews. You, I want them or else I'm gonna kill you when I get to your house. Yet, you never show any proof. You never show any sort of private messages that they sent that said, I want this sort of stuff. You never sent any comments that said, I want this sort of stuff. If you show that, I would give you a little bit more liability than when you state that they okay, suck. Okay, first, first off, it's credibility. Liability and credibility are two different things. Secondly, so you're upset with them because they're not going to betray the confidence right and the trust of private messages from a fan you instead want them to ostracize the fans by using them in as an example of being too demanding right i'm just getting this straight first you say they're picking on the little guy and then you want them to pick on the little guy 
So you have proof. Am I getting that right? Any sort of proof or evidence or straight up fact. So in a demanding offer, I would really wish if you could give me some evidence. Because what you're pretty because if you don't give me that, I'm just gonna assume that you're pretty much saying that anybody that gives you a simple request, you're instantly gonna say that's demanding. Uh, that's first off, gonna... that that's called an argument from ignorance. Just because you can't understand that that could take place, doesn't mean that it just suddenly doesn't exist. He doesn't, you know, nobody needs to give you fucking proof. If you want to, you know, find out if it's valid or invalid, the burden's on your ass, not on theirs. So just because people aren't, you know, betraying. Uh, the trust of a private message so you can feel satisfied that you have fucking evidence. That's not their fucking problem, man. That That's yours. That That's your fucking problem. But, point, point. Next is uh, why Random DC doesn't do handy-dandy guides anymore. And the reason that I agree with Al in this point is that Type in handy dandy guide on freaking YouTube. You're gonna find a shitload of unofficial handy dandy guides. Hell. Oh, I hey, Metal Mouth. Uh, hey, maybe you know DC doesn't do handy dandy guides because I don't know. He chose not to do fucking handy dandy guides. Who gives a shit what his reasoning is? His fucking video, his fucking choice. That's how it works. That that's freedom. If he wants to do them, great. If he doesn't want to do them, great. His fucking choice, man. He could do whatever video he wants. It's his fucking space on the internet. Handy dandy guides, I'm twiddling with the fact after season one of Obama Crusades are up, which is pretty much going to be pretty soon. I'm running out of ideas to talk about him for, so season two will pretty much be a recap and a sum up and shit like that. Anyway, uh, but HDGs are all over the place. You don't have to go to one liable person that created the HDG to get the facts and the straight up points and all that shit. So... Yeah, don't just instantly brag and force random DC to do these things, even though there's a piss load of other people out on the internet that are doing HCGs. It's sort of like you're forcing somebody to do something that they're not supposed to do, even though there's many other sources out there that you could watch it for. So that one. Why I does why definitely... does your voice keep going up every time you keep saying there's so many other sources for them? Kind of seems like you want I don't know shit on DCE. Like, oh, we don't need him. Other people are doing, fuck DC. We can get this other places. Hey, fuck you, man. Fuck you. We understand and definitely take in. It's a consideration. Now, for uh, the reason that he stopped was for the fan base. I think that's utter bullshit. I really do. Because if that's it, if that's, that's your thought process and stuff, then I... I think that you should just close your account. All right, uh, that's what I believe. That's what I stated in a few comments. I said if you don't like doing the videos that you make, just leave. All right, make another. You pretentious little cunt. I are you fucking serious? If you don't like making the videos that you like to do, just leave. He doesn't have to fucking leave. Fuck you. There are you know millions of accounts on YouTube, and all those you know on those millions of accounts. Never a video. Never made one fucking video. That's just a fucking account sitting in there. You know, it's up to the user to make content if they fucking choose to make content. Yeah, you can request it, but if they tell you, I don't want to do it, that they don't need to give you a fucking explanation. The, them saying, I just, you know, hey, I don't want to do it. There you go. Doesn't have to fucking leave. There's no criteria. There's no, you know, there's nothing in the terms of service on YouTube that says, if you don't satisfy, you know, satisfy Metal Mouth 44's criteria of making videos, you need to leave the site. God, you are so fucking full of yourself, man. It is just the shit. The smell of shit is just wafting off of you. Channel where you do your videos and don't be, uh, like put into that sort of chapter. Or better yet, my opinion, my thought, make two accounts: one in which you do the videos you want to do, and the other one you do the other videos that people enjoy. Let's put it that way. And oh my you... God! If I, I, I you know, you're the kind of guy who gets smacked in real life, aren't you? I really, I can picture people just hitting you at random when you go up and introduce yourself. You know, make two accounts: one that people like to watch, and the other you can make that shit nobody likes to watch. What a harsh little critic you are! What have you ever made that's worth a goddamn? But you're gonna sit there and, and basically criticize people who do make content that's decent. 
on the merits of what they make and how they should make it. Fuck you. There's a difference between, as a fan, requesting somebody to make something or suggesting something to them. But do you know where the difference between that and becoming an asshole is? If you keep doing it. If you ask somebody, would you make a video or you suggest something to them, once they answer you the first time, end a fucking story. If you say, hey, would you keep making these videos? And they say, uh, no, I, I just don't want to do it. End a fucking story. You keep going past that point, you're a dick. You do yourself, the ones that you really like to do could be on the other channel where not everybody's going to complain like fuck about and all that Are shit. Are you still talking that's about this? Be a ten times greater idea than just you saying fuck you, go die in a hole. I don't think that's a good thought process or idea because what you do is pretty much alienate about all your fans. Big that's Al right, because it. all the fans signed a petition you started, right? You've got a piece of paper sitting somewhere that has all the fans, and they sign their name saying, Metal Mouth speaks the truth. Fuck this guy. He's not making the videos we want. Oh, wait. No, I think you're wrong, because all the other videos that you think are shit have, what, all five-star ratings and thousands of views? So all those fans, you say, that are so upset are actually watching the videos. It's just you sitting over here pissed off because your faggoty little suggestion on how to do the videos didn't get taken up by the person making them. This dark scream sort of hinted at this darkness i don't really care because darkness is pretty chill in my book oh of course you like darkness okay why why didn't book. i see I, that coming i don't have any big flaws about him i think he's a pretty decent youtuber at the moment you know uh so what else is there that i can talk about oh yeah um the water under the bridge thing where you talked about how Tuber was just bringing up another fact, bringing up another thing under the thing after all the people were cleared out and done with. You stated in, I think, that part you were talking about how Elam, the reason why Elam's uh, video, we didn't hate Elam's video because of Elam. We hated Elam's video because of the other people that talked. That that sort of sounded like you were saying we hated those other people for stating their opinion. I think... I didn't really like that sort of shit. It sort of is a little bit uh, iffy. But hey, everybody, this is called foreshadowing for really his videos that are coming Elam, up where everybody's going to hate him for his opinion. <laughs> editing his video, uh, Mind Crush apologizing, T and Pan apologizing, and all that shit. And you say everything's good and fine. No, everything's not good and fine. The reason why is they shouldn't have apologized. They shouldn't have said. Oh, I'm sorry, loyal master. Could I suck your dick now? No, they shouldn't have done that. They oh, my God. I, you know, I'm surprised because I don't remember that from any of those videos where they said, I'm sorry, loyal master. I want to suck your dick now. God, you are the most pissed off person I've ever, ever heard. You're so jealous and so angry that you don't have subscribers and people rating and five starring and favoriting your shitty little videos that you'll pick anybody with a big name and bitch at them in hopes that you'll get some attention. You are, by definition, an attention whore. You're the kind of guy who cuts himself before he goes to a party. So you get people saying, oh, poor baby, did you hurt yourself? Are you suicidal? Do you want me to, you know, sit with you all night? God. This is my opinion. You don't like it. Tits or get the fuck out. They should have said that. That's how it's going to work. That's a better thing. If you don't like my opinion and you respond in an orderly manner, that's fine and dandy. But if you're just one of these assholes that is, res, expect me to apologize for something that I say, how about you go shove a cock up your ass and go fuck yourself? That's how I feel. All right. Elam shouldn't have never even re-edited that video because what he pretty much did was let you people win. He let Wait, you guys win. shouldn't have I uh, shouldn't have never even done that. Shouldn't have never. Right? Double negative. So he should have. I'm glad you agree with us all. You can end the video now win and not let his opinion win he just showed that he's weak he's weak to you guys and that's just disgusting that really is it's disgusting he shouldn't have edited that video he shouldn't have re-edited he shouldn't have reposted it he should have just kept it the way it was that's my belief if you have a problem with that then i'm sorry so those are all the points i can probably pick out right now there's a few others where we talked about like how uh uh what's it like um T uh, tubers was acting like an ego fag. He's like, I can do better audio than you can, and a few other shit. Stuff like that. So, yeah, two things before I go, Al. One, 
this is criticism. This is not me going ahead and calling you a fucking artard, a moron, a weeaboo, and bullshit. I'm just pointing out facts. If you call this hatred... And no, happy, no, 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 no. You didn't say anything that was a fact. I listened to this piece of shit you call a, a rant or a commentary or whatever faggot title you're throwing on it. And all it was was opinion. You whining about things that upset you. And how you want everybody to act in a way that pleases you. And how you want everybody to behave in a way that's pleasant to you. Fucking hell, attention whore. Uh, I'm sorry, but this is where the point I'll use attacking methods here. You're a dumbass. Alright? This is pure criticism. You have a problem with it? I'm sorry. Why do you keep and... apologizing? Didn't you just go on about how all these other people shouldn't have apologized, and then every time you criticize somebody, you say, I'm sorry? You're the weak one, man. You can't even make a video in which you don't apologize. Uh, number two, once you post that 9-11 truthers rant, expect a response. Just saying. Peace yeah, so you'd better not post it, hint, hint, wink, wink, or else I'm going to come down on you, man, like a fucking mountain. Don't make me do the things that I'm thinking. I'm going to one-star your video. By the way, you're stupid. Boy, and Al, I do not hate you. Again. I just want you to die. Oh, wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I'm just pointing out the facts. Haven't pointed I out any of them yet. A few things wrong with that video. Peace out. That's all. That's all I wanted to say on the issue at hand, on that certain issue. It came out wrong, I will admit that. It came out ridiculous, yes. I was a bit hot-headed at the time, yes. It, it was ridiculous, so I do apologize for that video. You just said at the very beginning of your video you're not going to apologize, and you've already done it twice now. <laughs> God, seriously, pick something and stick with it. In question. However... How fucking ever that doesn't justify some of the comments and some of the responses. No, no, scratch that. Most of the responses that I've gotten. You guys uh, are mean. Stop picking on me. I'm just making videos on the internet. Why have you got to pick on me for? We're all fucking stupid. Right, so, so basically, you make uh, you make a video saying, stop picking on Chris Chan, you're all assholes. Everybody makes fun of you for doing that. You take the video down because you don't like getting made fun of. And so now you're making a video explaining why you took it down, calling the people who made fun of you assholes. So I expect in a week you're going to pull this video down, make another video apologizing for it, and then call everybody who responded to your apology an asshole. Instead of me going through every single individual one and attacking and destroying every single last one of their fucking arguments. Because you couldn't, just... and because there are too many to count, and it would take you an eternity to talk shit about all the people who had fun laughing at you. It's going to say the individual ones that I'm talking about. Now, I've gotten fucking responses from several people, <laughs> and uh, most of them were stupid, yes. Some of them were actually fucking moderate and normal. Um, I recently got one from Ravid Saxon, uh, and I can answer that question because I enjoy your other videos, more or less. And now, because of the information I got, I, I enjoy a bit of your... Um, What's it, uh, Chris Chan yes, video? Yes, allow well. me to answer your question, a person who I mildly am interested in and whose videos don't completely bore me to death. I don't mean to sound like a completely pretentious douchebag as I'm answering you, but you are stupid and a duty head. Well, but I do mostly enjoy the ones where you did on Recolor Guys, that they were pretty awesome. Uh, and the way you commentated your videos were pretty cool. Anyway. To everyone else, to the, the, I'm trying to remember his fucking name is like Ataki. At I'm just gonna call him A420. The guy whose response was 
fucking ridiculous and stupid. It, it felt like I was watching. You are stupid. <laughs> you sound like Navigator in that one video review. That's pretty good. <laughs> You're pretty good at imitating failure. Way to go. Fuck up little snot nosed bullshitters fucking response after watching like it felt like i was watching some stupid repub like stupid liberal after he watched five minutes of keith oberman and thinks he's the most politically made person in the known fucking universe wow you're on a roll buddy first you piss off every troll on the internet by telling them that they're dicks for making fun of christian now you're gonna pick on the conservatives and the liberals because you misspoke in that one sentence that's that's brilliant i also like how you're responding and saying this guy's a douchebag but, you know, his, his response bothered me so much, but I don't even have enough decency to, you know, pronounce his fucking name right. That must have really bothered you. You took the time to pronounce his name. It, it felt like that. It felt like he just watched Big Al's video and said, you know what, I'm going to attack Mal Mouth 44 as well. Ah. A little so bit of specs. Me. It was stupid. Yes, I should have rated it one star. In fact, I think I did rate it one star. Do you Not hear me, sure. motherfucker? I rated your video one star. I am ahead of you now. <laughs> Man, um, way to get your revenge. I one starred your video. <laughs> now you'll be so depressed you'll kill yourself. That video was fucking stupid as hell. Uh, you were come back stupid. To me when you I, I dislike you very much. Do you know how stupid I think you are? I one starred your video because you're stupid. Now allow me to apologize to you, but I still think you're stupid. I'm sorry I said that, but you're stupid. Stupid as hell. Um, come back to me when you want to act fucking civil. Um, Tubers was, while it was bad in certain aspects, is pretty like much that the part highest. where you told me that you wish you could build a time machine and uh, go meet my mother before I was born and get her a coat hanger that was long enough to do the job right that time. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit mean, but overall, when you were calling me a stupid cunt head. Yeah, I kind of agree with that point. I can see where you're coming from, man. Mm -hmm. Respected one of the group that I'm attacking. Because the reason why I didn't really like it that much was because there were certain things that he said in that video that were sort of ridiculous. For example, when he stated that I was getting pissed off over the internet, it was sort of ridiculous. It was like, no, get dumb. F like, I, I, I felt like I was like saying, no, not at all, simpleton. Oh, oh, I see. So you're not getting pissed off over the internet. So I must be imagining this video where you're getting pissed off over the internet. And the less I talk about Big Al's video, the better. I don't want to fucking give Yeah, popularity. fuck you, Big Al. Do you hear me? I once starred your video, too. Fuck you, man. That one star is really going to have an effect on the 500 five stars that came before it. Fuck you. And like to that fucking attention whore grabbing bullshitter, bullshit artist. Um, all I would say is that Big Al, your video was three parts of you pulling the shit that I've done. You know, you could have killed me with sympathy. You could have killed me with kindness, as the term goes. But no, you actually define the definition of getting pissed off over the internet. Because what you did was respond to my video in a pissed off, moronic manner, showing that you're a fucking hypocrite. That's right, and, and I hope my words may I hope my words make you cry, Big Al. You could have responded with sympathy and told me what a sexy boy I am and stroked my balls, but instead you called me out on what the <laughs> what a faggot I am, and so now I have to make an apology video telling you how stupid you are. Did I tell you I one starred your video because you're stupid? Yes, you are a hypocrite. So now I'm awaiting, uh, what's it, Heavy Bases X's Cannon of Chaos. Oh my god, I'm frightened. I'm shaking in my fucking boots because some fat British guy is going to do a fucking three-minute video where one-third of the video is the fucking intro. I'm frightened. I'm scared. I want my mommy. Yes, I'm so not terrified by it. That's why I'm addressing it in my video because my, you know... <laughs> I'm not concerned about it at all, but I have to bring it up anyway because I'm a pussy. Did I tell you how stupid you are? And did I tell you I one starred your video? I just wanted you all to know that. You're stupid, by the way. And uh, I imagine who else is going to attack me and shit, you know? You know, thinking about it, I'm probably thinking about maybe turning my persona into a villain since I'm getting all this hatred. I feel no, like no, no. You don't have a persona. You're just, you're just a dipshit. 
there's no persona here. You're not acting. This is you. This is you, the guy who started your video saying, I'm not going to apologize, and then apologized twice, and said, I'm not going to attack anybody, and then attacked everybody. That, that's pretty much you. You're a living contradiction. Andy Orton in wrestling. Jesus Christ. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a break from the uh, rants and the opinions that I stayed out. And once that hiatus is done... I'll be back. That's right, motherfuckers. And... I'll be back to tell you how stupid you all are. And I'll be back and I'll one star all your shit. You can't stop me. I'm unfucking stoppable. And guess what? There will be no fucking mercy. Because when uh -oh. I go for the attack, when I go for me ranting and raving and speaking my mind and speaking my fucking opinion and saying shit that I want to say and doing all the shit that I say and garbage like that, you really want me to do that sort of stuff? Since I'm saying that sort of things and doing that sort of stuff, um, when I Are come back... Are you intimidated yet? Are you terrified by the thought of me doing the things I say and saying the things I think? You should be. Because I'm going to one-star every one of your videos. Be afraid. Be very fucking afraid. I won't give a shit if you respond to me or not. I don't really fucking care. I I'm care so little, that's why this imaginary video isn't actually on YouTube right now. This is all in your mind. I didn't even make this video. That's how little I care. To the point that I know that about 70% uh, of the ranting community hates my fucking guts, and they want to castrate me. I know that. I fucking know that because my opinions are controversial because I fucking state stuff and it's controversial. I yes, speak like that controversial thing I said earlier when I told you that you're all so stupid. Do you remember that? There were riots in the street. That's how controversial I am. Do you not understand how controversial I am? Don't make me do the things I'm thinking right now. You won't like it. And it's fucking controversial. I could possibly take a shit. And people would find that controversial. Woohoo! How fun. So yeah. Yippee. Have a nice time. Yippee. Have a nice time. Um, this is probably going to be the last video that I'm going to make. I thought until... the video you just did before this was the last video you were going to make. But you had to f follow up with a part two. Are you going to apologize for part one and then tell us how stupid we all are? Break, as I said. Um, again, once I come back, it's no holds bar. I state my opinion. You like it. It's either you like it. You respect my opinion, but you don't really like it, or you don't like it, and you want to bitch at me for it. If that's true, then fuck you, fuck off, suck a cock, and go fucking die. For the other two, thank you for your fucking criticism. I will go away now. Because, frankly, I have real-life shit to do. You know, contrary to popular fucking belief, I actually have a life. I don't just sit on... The fucking yes, that's that's right. I have a day. life. You know, I do things outside of making these fucking videos. My life is so busy. That's why this imaginary video you're listening to right now doesn't even exist. I'm out fucking my girlfriend because she really exists. I'm out spending my money that I earned at my job because that really exists. This video, this doesn't exist because I have a fascinating life that I live. By the way, did I tell you how stupid you all are? ran about how Obama's evil or how shit like that is evil. I have to go to my school in about um, three minutes, to, like maybe fucking not not even three minutes. Um, and not even, not, not, not even fucking three minutes. I have to get there in about two hours. Okay, there's a huge uh, difference between three minutes and two hours. So obviously you need to stay in school a little longer to learn how to read that fucking watch. Um, and shit like that. 
um, hang out, I hang out with friends and shit like that. I focus on actual real life work while you guys bitch at people and attack people. You know, I could give a shit less. You know, I'm actually the definition of not taking the internet too seriously because all I'm doing is saying go fuck yourself. That's right, That's guys, because I really don't care what any of you think. And just because puberty hasn't ended yet doesn't mean you can make fun of me. All I'm doing, all I'm saying is, you know, shove it, go fuck yourself, fuck you, fuck me, fuck everyone, fuck the world, fuck it all, fuck this world, fuck everything that you stayed of. Stand that's for, right, you know? that, that's fuck how it. casual I am. You know? I just told you Life fuck sucks. everything, because I'm so casual and I take things so not seriously. Sucks. So why should I give a shit about society? Why should I give a shit about YouTube? Why should I give a shit about people bitching at me saying I'm taking the internet too seriously when those are all fascinating questions but why don't you actually answer them instead of making YouTube videos bitching about how much you hate the internet and everybody who makes fun of you taking the internet too seriously because they're wasting their fucking time typing out a fucking comment saying that you take the internet too seriously when they could be busy I don't know working on something productive. dude are we, we're on like minute 13 of you telling us how little you take the internet seriously and then posting it on the internet so they can listen to how little you think you take the internet seriously god jesus man like i don't know a video or i don't know a idea or a thought or a script <gasps> Ooh. instead you guys waste your time typing out this little fucking comment that says you have no life Oh, you I'm suck. I'm sorry. Did you just actually try to convince me that you use scripts for the piles of shit that you call commentaries and rants? Because uh, I listened to your Chris Chan one, and if that was scripted, uh, you're never going to have a career in Hollywood, man. That 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 was Dragon Ball Evolution script writing that you pulled in that last video. Balls, delete your account. So why should I take the internet so seriously? Take it super uber seriously when all I get is just comments like bullshit McGee here, dumbass douche nozzle over here, uh, Captain Cumstain right there. Why Are you I all amazed by my ability to rhyme insults? It's quite the mark of intelligence, I tell you, because I take the internet not seriously at all. By the way, have I told you that I think you're stupid? Fuck. If all the comments that I'm going to get are negative from now on, why should I give a shit? All I'm going to do is just be like, you know what, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I, I think, you know, I I think I've made make... a mistake somewhere here. I, I meant to hit a video and watch it on the internet, but somewhere along the lines I must have clicked a link and got brought to this lithium commercial because clearly the person talking has manic depression. Five minute, like ten minute videos just me pretty much saying flat out, screw yourself. I want to focus on the shit that entertains the people that I'm trying to entertain. All right. Yeah, I know. My video on Chris Chan wasn't necessarily productive, and I, I state right now, you can take me for all it's worth. I've gotten some good criticism and good fucking information about Chris Chan now, and if I redid that video, I would say that the guy is a heartless bastard. I would say that guy... Oh, so basically, when uh, you were talking earlier about how you script your shit, and just what you just said right now about having no information when you did the video... So you're basically telling us all that you're a douchebag who makes videos without ever looking into what you're talking about. Thank you for proving why you're a fucking failure. Um, he shouldn't be able to use the internet. The, the hell, the guy shouldn't even be able to use the government money. He should actually, you know, be productive for once, you know. M maybe, just, just maybe try to publish, like, make an independently made, you know, shit. Or My make god, Metal Mouth, company. you are the living definition of peer pressure. Well, you got a bunch of trolls who told you Christian's a faggot after you made your Don't Pick on Christian video, and now you're making fun of Christian because you want to be in the cool crowd. That's just fucking pathetic. Instead of wasting his time on video games and shit like that, actually do something with his life, you know? Seeing through you guys, you know, I fucking got this shit. I found out that he works off of fucking welfare. He gets welfare. Which is makes me just straight up look like I got a pie in the face because holy shit. Oh my god. I feel like a moron because I'm defending somebody who goes against my fucking thought process.
Couldn't have said it better I'm myself. I'm glad you agree with everybody else that you're a fucking moron. Tax money that should be going to fucking infant children in Cambodia. Ugh. And he's using it for the newest sonic useless pile of fucking fire. Why should I give a shit about him? Yes, let me let me translate yeah, for I the would... viewing audience. Basically, what he's saying right now is, please don't pick on me. I'll I'll believe whatever you guys want to. I don't want to get made fun of anymore because I don't take the internet seriously. Please, please, please stop telling me what a dipshit I am for not looking into anything before I talk about it. I was mildly wrong for doing that, but that doesn't defend the fucking commentaries and the fucking hate comments and the douchebags that keep attacking me. That doesn't offend you. Yeah, sure, it makes your point on Chris Chan correct, but it doesn't make your insults towards me correct. It just makes you look like a douchebag. Like myself, I am. I will say, I will admit, I'm an asshole on the internet. On this, Who certain... wants to start a betting pool that this guy's going to probably kill himself within the year? I, I really get the Ann Hero vibe from... I could honestly picture him swinging from a noose in like six months. He is so fucked up in the head. This is amazing area of YouTube. I don't give a shit. You know, my fucking, you know, site is all about rebellion. My whole entire fucking persona is just fuck the government. It's just like, fuck you all. Yeah, man. Fuck Uncle Sam. Fuck him right into the ground. Like, down with the government. Like, that's cool still, right? I mean, 60s and everything. Everybody want to get high and fuck each other. Oh, wait, you're telling me it's 2009? Oh, oops, I guess I missed the fucking boat on being cool. Smart, great. If you're dumb, good for you. If you want to be a sheep, go right ahead. When we all fucking die, I'll make sure you become bait. You know, I don't care. I don't fucking care. Have I so, told yeah. you all how um, little I care? Stop picking on me already. I'm taking a break. You know, I'm going to hide in my productive. room in my closet and tell my mom not to take any calls. And if you guys try to get a hold of me, my dad's going to kick your ass. For once. Uh, if you want to chat to me on Skype, you can. I just won't be on YouTube. Uh, the tube of retardation. Or the tube of retardation or whatever the fuck. Yeah, because you're also uh, retarded that I can't pronounce it properly. That's how intelligent I am. Um, if you want to fucking type out a hate comment, that just proves that you take the internet as serious business, not I. Um, Haha, ha, check, much... checkmate, motherfucker. You can't beat that logic, bitch. Much what you're going to do is type, uh, hate comments to a brick wall for two months. For two weeks, well, actually. Yeah, that's right. You're such an unmovable object. You're a brick wall that took all of fucking one day to make a response begging people to stop making fun of you. Yeah, you're a real pillar of strength there, buddy. Um, so I'm just gonna go off, uh, like, hell, after this video's up, I'm just gonna, like, sh log off of YouTube. Not Quick, everybody run to his fucking page and see the last time he signed in. I guarantee you it was, like, ten minutes ago. Sign out of YouTube. Um, I'm going to, uh, just look up other sites, you know, go to, uh, you know, mod DB, play some games on my fucking computer and shit, hang out with friends and stuff. I'm not going to go and be fucking attached to this ridiculousness. I just need a fucking break. So, I'm going to be on Skype. I'm going to be working on my homework. I'm going to be working on fucking projects, working on tests. I don't need bullshit. If you want bullshit, go bother somebody else. That's right, guys. I don't want to take your bullshit. So here's my Skype address, here's my email address, here's my AIM address, and here's my instant messenger. Please drop me a line so I cannot take your bullshit. Well, you're going to get no response from me there, pal. All you're Buddy. Gonna get is a giant middle finger and just say, all right, now, since you acted like a child, go in the corner. That's all you're going to get. Golly gosh, guys. Not... I'm not going to take any shenanigans from you guys. You're going to get me saying, making a video about you. Like I just did right frankly, now. In the, in, the, in the words of fucking, uh, that guy from Gone with the Wind, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Honestly, I don't give a damn. We're entering minute 20, and he's still talking about how little he gives a damn. Hell, you, you want to fucking attack me and shit? You want to fucking, like, you know, 
insult me and crap? You want to fucking make commentaries on me? You want to make fucking videos against me? Do I look like I give a fuck? Yeah, no. yeah, you, abs you absolutely look like you give a fuck. Yeah, 100% you give a fuck. You give more of a fuck than anybody I've ever met. Oh. Go right ahead. Make my fucking day. You know, make me laugh at your pathetic little faces. And let make me laugh at your pathetic little text while I'm too busy fucking helping out and improving my fucking future. Yeah. Uh, just Dude, if you want you to... are a you are a fucking idiot's wet dream. You know, I mean, you are a fucking lolcow article waiting to happen on ED. I can envision like three or four pages dedicated to you about how little you give a shit about the internet because all you do is talk about how much you give a shit about the internet. If you want to make me laugh, just respond and be as immature and retarded as you want. I don't care. Just. Uh, you're, you're... All your <laughs> Sorry, I had a stroke there. Doing is just feeding the fucking humor train here. So yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you want to? That's like time number one thousand that he said how little a shit he gives. Act me and do shit to me and stuff like that. You're gonna be talking to a fucking empty account for the next two or week and a half. That's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going on hiatus. I'm done with this fucking website. And I'm never going to see you again. I'll be back in a week and a half. So, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Uh, in the next video after this one and after the hiatus as well is going to be back to normal shit. I will not associate myself with the bullshit that I'm getting from people. I'm just going to say, fuck them to hell, you know? I don't give a Oh, dude, ass. it's going to be waiting for you. The moment you step back on the website, people are just... I, I can already... I can literally feel the pressure wave coming from the air disbursement of every troll's boner popping up right now at the thought of fucking with you for the next couple of months. Like, you you might as well, put, you know, paint a bullseye on your ass, because you're a walking target now. Alright, um, so, yeah. See you later. In a week Peace and a half. Peace out, YouTube. Or my, my, more or less, fuck you, YouTube. Better I'll see you yet. guys in a week. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's how little a fuck I give. Be back in a week. Wow.